Yes, you can't run away. Now, you, do you want to nominate anyone before you go into shop? Yes, I do. I want to nominate so many people. One, Michael Diamond. He's on air. Two, Andrew Kimber. He's our own in our in-house researcher. Keep still. And, and three, Matt Wolf. He's the executive producer of this number. <laughs> 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 that was horrible, but it's for a good cause, friends. If you can do it, get out and do it. Well, that was me yesterday taking the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. It's a social media campaign that swept the world and even has politicians, athletes, and celebrities taking part in the fun. And while critics may call the trend another example of slacktivism, there is no denying its success. While not all participants are making donations, so far in Canada alone, $1.4 million has been raised. Globally, the campaign has raised more than $40 million when compared to the roughly $2 million raised in the same time period last year. The success is undeniable. Cal Post is a comedian with a personal interest in the challenge. Loved one Joanna Downey has ALS. He joins me now in studio. So I want to ask you, Right off the bat, because I mentioned in sort of just moments ago, this whole concept of slacktivism and, and people partaking in this challenge just so that they can post that video up on social media. Do you have any concerns with that before we get, sort of get into the personal? No, it's awareness. It's, a, it's, all, it's, it's all that matters, good yeah. or bad, it's awareness. And yeah. for people who are against it, it's silly. <laughs> I can get with that. So, so talk to me about why this particular fundraiser is touching you so personally. Uh, Joanna Downey, who is a comedian, and she was affected with it about three years ago is when she started. Took her voice first, and as a comedian, that's the worst. That's your main tool in comedy. She's a stand-up comic, so it uh, took her voice, and then it's slowly over the years, it's taken pretty much everything. For a lot of people that are watching this right now, it's it may be the first time they've heard about ALS because it's not very common of a disease. Uh, talk to us about sort of how it really affects someone, some, affects their body. It's a little more common than people think. It's as prevalent as MS, but lacking a spokesperson. So what happens when, when you are ultimately hit with it? Uh, it's different in every case. It can hit you. For one thing, there's no standard in how to find it. You have to eliminate everything else before you get to ALS. So you start with all the other diseases and as they get checked off the list, at the bottom is this horrible disease, ALS. And what it does, it's, uh, it's how the brain talks to the muscles. They don't know what causes it, where it starts, but the signal goes from the brain, which is generally functioning, down into the body, the muscles are functioning, mm -hmm. but the signal just gets lost on the way. Mm -hmm. So they become paralyzed. And how's Joanna doing now? Not well, she's comfortable. She's with her parents now. They live in, uh, out in the beaches and they're doing a fantastic job of taking care of her. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's pretty much laid up in bed most of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm told that she's worked with some pretty impressive comedians. Is that right? Oh yeah, she uh, ran a she runs a well ran an open mic at uh, Spirits Bar and Grill on Church and Hayden. And yeah, over the years she's had some impressive comics. She had uh, Louis Black come in, uh, Robin Williams <laughs> came in and did a set. Wow. She was uh, she kicked him off stage. He did too long. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. So. Let's go back to this sort of fundraising campaign. Sure. Why is this such a good thing? Because, you know, apart from it raising awareness, why is it so important to you? Uh, the disease itself is so devastating for the person inflicted and the people around because they become caregivers and it's a very uh, trying job. It can be very difficult. So any kind of awareness to find some sort of a cure is incredible. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, yeah, are you surprised by how huge this has become? I've seen videos of George Bush, former president of the United States, getting the ice bucket challenge and Mitt Romney and I haven't seen President Obama yet, but you know, I, oh, there you go. You've got George Bush on the screen there. We've got, you know, the most um, important politicians in American politics taking this ice bucket challenge, spreading awareness. Are you surprised by how big it's become? I can't say I put a lot of thought into it. I'm happy people are having fun while raising awareness. Mm -hmm. And there is, there's been people who think it's a waste of time. It's not really helping anything. Just donate money, just donate money. But when you add uh, entertainment to it, more people want to take part. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a great thing that's happening. Mm -hmm. You know, there, I've, 
there are other campaigns that I think should be distinguished from this particular one, like the no makeup selfie campaign. I recall seeing a whole bunch of girls posting pictures of themselves uh, without makeup on, and that was to raise awareness for cancer, I believe. But ultimately, that wasn't about actually raising money for the cause. This particular one differs insofar as it's now raised over $40 million. I mean, that's a truly incredible number. Well, for any naysayer, that's the difference. You can pick at it all you want, but at the end of the day, there's still an extra $40 million that was made this year. Mm -hmm. $40 million that wouldn't have been made had this not happened. Mm -hmm. So you can't deny the power of this campaign. And it'll go away like everything else. And you know, four months from now, people will forget again. And that's fine, but we had our moment. And hopefully we'll have it again. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's all the time we have, but thank you for joining hey, You're welcome, me. thank you. To help with the fight against ALS, you can make a donation at joannadowney.com or visit als.ca.